Thank you, Brother Steve. <clears throat> we now come to chapter 6 of the book of Revelation. Continuing on from that scene that we saw last time in chapter 5, wherein the Lamb, the Lamb of God, appeared as though it had been slain and was indeed found worthy enough to open the scroll. And we praise God for that. We saw how that scroll uh, was sealed with those seven seals and how because of that, uh, no one in heaven or on earth or indeed under the earth was able to open those scrolls except for the Lamb, who we know is who? Who is the Lamb? It's Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's only Jesus. It's only the Lamb alone who is able to open the scroll and reveal all of those things that God has planned that would happen during that future plan. And so as we come to this passage, which again begins to deal with what happens as, as each of those seals are opened, obviously we come to a portion of Revelation that's new. It's a, a new topic, a new section of the book, which again, if you've read it before, you know uh, sets the tone, it sets the emphasis, it sets the topic for the remainder of the book, uh, really until the end of the book, until chapter 20. There's only 22 chapters in Revelation, and so uh, really uh, what's going to happen here is what's going to set the tone for the remainder of the book. And so just to give a basic outline of what's going to happen throughout the rest of the book, in chapter 6, we're going to be discussing the opening of the six seals, of the first six seals, um, uh, which will be followed by a brief reprieve in chapter 7, which we'll get to in a couple weeks, uh, with the opening of the seventh seal.